My name is Michael Deegan, I'm from Chagas in Moorpark. <clears throat> so I'm just going to talk a little bit on, on spring nitrogen fertilizer application. We'll go through Francis's plan up until the middle of April with his fertilizer for the rest of the year. And then we'll take some questions as well, if, if you have any. So there's, there's two main um, areas that we're in control of, the amount of grass that we've available on our farm in the spring period. And, and the two of them are, I suppose, your closing farm cover and the amount of nitrogen that you apply. There's other factors there that we can't control, like weather and rainfall, but like the two main ones that we can control is your autumn closing cover and the amount of nitrogen you spread in the spring. And at the moment, we can't do much about our autumn closing cover. That was last year. So now we need to look at how we can apply our nitrogen on the farm to ensure that we have enough grass to feed the cows um, for the first rotation, but particularly in, in April when the second rotation kicks in after you have that first round of grass grazed off. So... Nitrogen is essential to boost spring grass growth and particularly for growth in April. So what we would recommend is to, is to go with your nitrogen in, in late January, early February um, with 23 units as, as Ian said already. But a lot of farmers are kind of hesitant to go that early with nitrogen because of losses in the system and it's not going to take up uptake it. But I have a, a soil thermometer here and soil temperature in this field at the moment is just below 7 degrees centigrade, degrees Celsius. So like we would be talking about a soil degrees of about five degrees before you'd see uptake of nitrogen in the spring period. So soil temperatures are there. Um, probably another factor on playing on, on farmers' minds is rainfall and weather. And we're not going to advise farmers to go out and spread water, or spread nitrogen on waterlogged paddocks. So we do need to be kind of strategic on the paddocks that we can select to spread your fertilizer. Um, on on wet farms, you still have certain proportion of your paddocks that are dry. Um, and maybe James can talk about that, but. Um, on those dry paddocks that you can travel on in, in late January and early February, we would still recommend on, on going with your nitrogen on those paddocks and getting it out as soon as possible. You'll still see a response even even in January and February with soil temperatures above 5, five degrees Celsius. And on average, across across Ireland on a number of different sites from Cork up to Northern Ireland and in, in Athenry as well, we'd see an average response of about 10 kilos of growth um, for one kilo of applied nitrogen. And that'll be across the average for the spring period. So. February, March, and, and a part of April. So you, you will see a, a big response for every kilo of nitrogen, and I suppose this year it's probably more important that we do go at our early nitrogen to reduce feed costs. Um, if we can get out our early nitrogen, it will ensure that we have enough grass on our farm, particularly in the second round, and if we have enough grass, we can reduce the amount of supplementation that we're, we're feeding the cows in that spring period, in, in the second round grass. Um, April is, is a tight round for, for grass anyway, um, and for two main reasons. Um, one is not getting enough ground grazed in, in February and March to get the regrowths, enough regrowth time in April and also the amount of nitrogen available on the paddocks. Um, so that they're the two main factors that will dictate the amount of grass that you have available in the second round in April and the second week of April is the amount of nitrogen you have spread in January and February and March and also the, the area that you have grazed in February and March to give it an appropriate regrowth interval to get the the two week the, the, sorry the two months or, or ten weeks regrowth period for grazing and grazing again in, in April. And um, also slurry slurry is, is very important this time of year and it's a huge cost saving tool on farms. So uh, slurry utilization in the spring period is about six times more effective than you would be in in the main season and the back end of the year as well. And for every thousand gallons of slurry, you're talking about six units of nitrogen, about seven units of P, and, and twenty to twenty five units of of K. So it's a very very bala- valuable asset to have on the farm and, and you should try and use it as much as possible so if you have slurry on your farm and you have ground conditions that allow you to travel we, we would recommend on, on going on your low cover so five and six hundred kilos and less try and get out with two to two and a half thousand gallons of slurry and that's that's probably equivalent to just below um a, or about a bag of 18612 or just over a bag of 18612 um, to the acre equivalent.